The AirPods Pro second generation have brought tons of new features to the table and have greatly improved since the release of the AirPods Pro first generation. So today I'm going to be showing you a complete beginner's guide on these new AirPod Pros and how to set these up and pair them with your iPhone. Then we're going to dive into all the new tips, tricks, and hidden features that are going to allow you to walk away from this video like an AirPods Pro second generation expert. So without further ado, let's dive into this complete beginner's guide covering the new AirPod Pros. The AirPod Pro second generation have tons of new features, but as you can see they have a pretty similar structure with the case to the previous airpods pro however they do have a new and improved battery life so now you can listen to up to 30 hours of listening time for just a single charge which is super convenient and efficient they also have a new lanyard loop right here so you can attach a lanyard and loop it to your bag wallet whatever you need to do to carry these airpods with you and also similar to other airpods these are also ipx4 sweat and water resistant so you can get them wet you can get some sweat on them there's no worries there they'll be completely fine when you unbox your AirPod Pro second generation, you're going to notice it's going to come with a charging cable that you can use by just plugging it in right here. They also are MagSafe compatible, so if you have a MagSafe charge, you can just place them right here on the back of this AirPods and they will charge that way, but that's completely up to you. They also come with four extra pairs of silicone tips. As you can see, we have large, small, and extra small. So depending on your ear size, you can choose which ones fit your ear the best and go from there. Now, if I take the AirPods Pro out of the case like this, you're going to see they have a similar structure to the previous AirPods. Pros. However, they are slimmer with the stem right here, and they also do have new touch controls which are located on the stem as well. I'm going to dive into these later, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is a very unique and innovative design that I'm going to dive into later, but these are what they actually look like. So it is super easy and efficient to connect your AirPods to your iPhone. The first thing you're going to want to do though is make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on, and you can see if it's turned on by going to the control center and seeing this Bluetooth icon. As you can see, it's blue, which means my Bluetooth is turned on, and after that's all set up, all you have to do is just flip open the case like this. It's going to start to blink with this light right here, and you're going to have to wait a moment. But after that, you're going to see this tab pop up on your iPhone saying AirPods Pro, and then all you have to do is just click connect right here. So right after they're connected, this tab is going to continue to pop up. It's going to show how much charge you have on the AirPods themselves and the case. As you can see, the AirPods themselves are 75% and the AirPods case is 58%. And like I said, you can use a MagSafe charger or a cable charger, choose these, it's completely up to you. But now since these are connected, we're gonna click done right here and we're gonna go to settings and I'm gonna show you all the features and walk you through how to set up and use these AirPods Pro. So to double check if they are connected, all you have to do is just go to the control center here and just swipe down and you're gonna see this headphone icon right here, which signals that they are connected to your iPhone. I also have this widget right here that shows the battery percentage of the AirPods and the case themselves. And also I wanna show you in settings all the features you can access and just to go to settings, we go to right here, and then you're gonna see this AirPods Pro section that pops up once you're connected to them. And right here, there's tons of features you can look at, and I'm gonna dive into all of these. So right off the bat, as you can see, it takes us this AirPods Pro section, and you're gonna see the charge of the AirPods themselves and the case right now, 79% and 56%. You can also title them however you want. I have one of my AirPods in my ear at the moment just to show these functions in a better way. I have the other one right here, but as you can see, the first option we have is noise control, which is either off, noise cancellation, or transparency. So the first option we have in noise control is noise cancellation. So basically, if I turn this on, what's gonna happen is all external sound not coming from the AirPods is gonna be completely blocked out. And they do an exceptional job of doing this. I can't hear anything besides the audio that I'm listening to through my AirPods when I have noise cancellation turned on. And all you have to do is just click this right here. So now what you have to do is just place both in your ear at the moment. And then after you do that, noise cancellation is gonna be turned on and you won't be able to hear anything coming from externally outside your AirPods so you can listen to your audio in a more clear way. Now, say you don't want external noise to be completely blocked out while you're using these AirPods Pro, you can turn on transparency mode too. And basically what transparency mode does is if you place these both in your ear at the moment, what's gonna happen is you're still gonna be able to hear external noises and the audio that you're listening to, but if someone's speaking to you and you, they wanna get your attention, you'll be able to hear them. With noise cancellation, that won't be true, but if you turn on transparency, just put them both in your ear, click this icon right here, and now you're gonna be able to hear everything that's going on around you in addition to the audio that you're listening to at the moment. So this is completely up to you. We have noise cancellation, transparency mode, or off. So depending on the moment in time and your preference, you can choose whichever option works for you with these new AirPod Pro second generations. So right here on the stem of the AirPod Pro second generation, you can actually click it or move it to activate certain controls. And I wanna show you some of these basic features to start off. So for example, if you wanna play a song, all you have to do is just click the AirPod stem once just like this 
And as you can see right here, my music pops up. If I hold that down, you're gonna see it's playing. And if I wanna pause it, all I have to do is click it again, just like this. You can also control the volume on the stem of the AirPods by simply swiping up or down. If you swipe down, it's gonna reduce the volume. And if you swipe up, it's gonna increase the volume. So right here, as you can see, if I press play, and then I start moving my finger down like this, you're gonna see the volume starts to decrease. And if I do it the opposite way, it's gonna to start to increase just like that. So completely up to you and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is just swipe up or down to navigate the volume on these AirPods, which is super convenient. And also if you wanna to skip to the next track, all you have to do is just double click the stem twice, just like this. And you're gonna see it takes me to the next song. And say you wanna go back a track instead of going forward, all you have to do is click the stem three times, just like this and it's gonna take me to the previous song just like that. So if you wanna go forward in a track, just click it twice. And if you wanna go back, just click it three times. Right here, if you look at settings, you're gonna see we also have this press and hold stem of the AirPods section, where you can actually hold down the stem of the AirPods to activate different commands. So right now, for example, I have the right one in my ear at the moment, and if I hold it down, it's gonna to toggle between off and transparency mode. So I'm gonna hold down right now, and I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen as I'm holding it down. You're gonna see it's gonna to go to off. And right here, just to double check that, you can go to noise control on the right AirPod. And you're gonna see these options you can choose from right here. Then alternatively, if I put the left one in my ear, it's gonna to toggle between off and noise cancellation. So right now it's off, but if I hold it down just like this, you're gonna see it goes to noise cancellation instead. Then if I hold it down again, it's gonna go back to off. So now you can edit these commands in this section right here. So if you want the left one to activate different commands, you can choose between noise control, which I just showed you, or Siri. And right here on noise control, you can check which ones you want on or off. So if I check off or uncheck transparency right now, now whenever I hold down that right AirPod, what's gonna happen, it's gonna to toggle between noise cancellation and off mode. Then it's similar to the right one. If I go to right, I can choose which ones I wanna check on or off. And now it's gonna talk between those as well. And say you wanna customize it so your right AirPod actually activates Siri rather than changes the noise modes, you can go to the right AirPod right here and just click on Siri instead. And now what happens when I hold down my AirPod on my right one, you're gonna see that it's gonna contact Siri just like this. And now Siri's gonna pop up and I can ask her and ask any information that I like and receive that right through my AirPod Pros in my right one. Also, if you have both AirPods in your ear at the moment, you can also do an ear tip fit test. So basically, like I previously told you, the AirPods Pro come with multiple sizes and you can check which ones fit best to your ear. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All you have to do is click this icon right here and it's gonna tell you to test the fit of your ear tips. And so for the best acoustic performance, AirPod ear tips should create a complete seal when placed in your ear. So let's click continue right here. So now you're gonna place the AirPods in both ears so they're comfortable and secure. Then you're gonna press play to test the fit for both of the left and right AirPods. So we're gonna press play right here. So right after you test it, it's gonna give you results. And as you can see, my ear tips I'm using for are both a good fit for both of my ears, right and the left one have a good seal. So now you know that these fit well and if they don't, they'd let you know and you can choose the other sizes of tips that the Apple AirPods come with. So to go further in settings, we have adaptive transparency turned on. And what I mentioned earlier is when you have this turned on, loud sounds you're exposed to will automatically be reduced, but you'll also be able to hear them externally outside the AirPods if you wanna hear something going on in your surroundings. So make sure you have that turned on. And also we have automatic ear detection turned on and we have it connect to this iPhone automatically. So basically what happens, as soon as I open the case and put my AirPods in my ear, they're gonna automatically connect to my iPhone so there's no hassle there just make sure you have that turned on and also you can go to this section right here and choose when you want to connect it so we have automatically right now and when last connect to this iPhone so I recommend keeping on automatically but this is completely up to you if you're still using old-fashioned slow charging and messy lightning charging cables it is time for you to say goodbye to those your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your device if you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device. Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally 
currently in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables and upgrade to the two in one lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description, enjoy. And next we have spatial audio. So last year, Apple released the AirPod third generations which are our standard model, they're not the pros and these ones actually gave spatial audio as an option. So basically what this means, if you weren't aware, every time you turn your head, the sound's gonna follow you in that direction. So it gives you a 3D experience. So much of when you're in a movie theater, you hear the sound coming at you from all directions. So whenever you turn your head, it's actually gonna follow you in that specific direction. So I wanna show you how this works and you can personalize this, but first we're gonna click C in here, how it works right here. So basically what spatial audio says, it's gonna experience immersive three-dimensional sound that follows the movement of your iPhone for supported audio and videos. So right now we're in stereo audio, which is the standard mode you listen to with other AirPods. So basically it's just gonna come at you in the normal direction, not when you tilt your head or move your iPhone. But if we turn on spatial audio, as you can see, whenever you move your phone or your head, you're gonna see that that sound follows you so let's turn it right here like this and now you're gonna hear the sounds coming at you from all directions obviously you can't hear this since I'm just showing you this video but if you did you'd see it's coming at you in all directions and then once that's good you can press done right here and you can also personalize your spatial audio so I'm not gonna dive into too much detail since we have all of our own ear sizes and they're all different but basically what happens if we click on this right here and click personalize spatial audio What's gonna happen is you can actually use your iPhone's camera to personalize spatial audio for the specific shape of your own ears, which makes it very convenient and modeled specifically to your ear size. So let's click continue right here. I'm not gonna dive into too much, but you're gonna to wanna to take the AirPods out of your ears to continue. So like I said, I'm not gonna dive into too much because everyone varies in ear size, but basically what you do with the iPhone's camera is you position your face in front of the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. And after you do the front of your face, it's gonna ask you to do the side of your face where your ears are, and you're gonna do the exact same thing. And after that, the Apple AirPods are gonna calculate a great way to personalize your spatial audio depending on your ear size, which is super cool and convenient for your ear size depending on what that is. So I definitely recommend recommend trying this out when you get the chance. It's hard to show you right here through this video, but definitely try that when you get the chance. Now, I'm sure that you're all aware that both AirPods, the left and the right, have a microphone inside them built in. So whenever you're speaking on the phone or talking to someone, it'll actually come through both AirPods. And right here, we have this microphone section in the settings, and you can just click on this right here, and you have the option to choose between automatically switch AirPods, always left AirPod or always right AirPod. So say you only want your microphone to come out of one of the AirPods, you can just click one of these, but I recommend having both and automatically switch between AirPods. So whenever you're talking to someone, it's actually gonna activate the specific microphone of that left or right AirPod. So definitely keep that on the way it is. Then next we have enabled charging case sound. So basically this is not much to talk about, but when you open your AirPod Pro second generations, the AirPods case is gonna make a noise to show that they're trying to find an iPhone or phone to connect with. And you'll hear a little ring come through the case. So you just wanna have that turned on in case you wanna hear that, but completely up to you optimized battery charging. This actually, to reduce battery aging, the iPhone and AirPods learn what your daily charging routine is so your AirPods can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use them. So this is just to complete and optimize your battery charging. This is completely up to you. I recommend turning that on so you don't drain your iPhone's battery or your AirPod Pro's battery. So definitely keep that turned on. And we also have this accessibility section that I wanna talk about. This can access new features that I'm sure you weren't all aware about. So if we click on this right here, you can actually choose different variables and options on how you wanna use the touch sensor on the stem of your AirPods. So for example, we have press speed. So you have your default, lower and slowest. So basically what happens when you click on your AirPods to activate them right here on the stem, is you're gonna actually choose if you want that slower or slowest or default. There's not much to change right here. I recommend keeping on default because it really doesn't matter. And also similar to that, you have the press and hold duration. So you just want to keep it on default, but then again, you can choose with these. Then lastly, we have noise control 
wall right here. So now we have noise cancellation with one AirPod. So this allows AirPods to be put in noise cancellation mode when only one AirPod is in your ear. So if I turn that on right now, since I have my right AirPod in my ear at the moment, noise cancellation would be activated only in that specific AirPod because the other one's out of the air. I'm gonna turn that on actually because I think it's a great way to show and have that noise cancellation turned on with one AirPods not in your ear. So turn that on if you wanna have one of those noise cancellation AirPods turned on, but it's completely up to you. You can also access more audio accessibility settings by clicking this right here. And it's gonna take you to your accessibility audio and visual section on your iPhone settings. And the first one we have is headphone accommodation. So basically what happens with this is you can customize the audio for supported Apple and Beats headphone by adjusting the settings below or through the custom audio setup. So right now, this is actually a cool feature I wanna talk about. So basically you have the option between slight, moderate, and strong. So soft sounds will be boosted slightly, moderately, or strongly depending on what you choose right here. So actually if you wanna to listen to music the loudest you possibly can, you can keep this on strong or you can reduce it to moderate if you don't want that or even slight. And then you can actually click play sample to test how loud this audio is coming out of your AirPods. I keep it on strong because that's the standard mode it comes with when you get your AirPod Pros and your iPhone. So I'm gonna keep it like that, but this is completely up to you if you have sensitive ears and you are sensitive to certain sounds. So now that I walked you through the basic settings for your AirPod Pro second generations, there's a few ones I also wanna talk about, which includes Siri and Search. So if we go to Siri and Search on our settings right here, you're gonna see if we scroll down, we have this option for announce calls and announce notifications. And say for example, we click on announce calls right here. You can actually choose when you want Siri to announce your calls. So for example, you can have always, headphone and car, headphones only or never. So basically if you have headphone only, for example, and you're listening to music and you receive a phone call through your AirPods, what's gonna happen is Siri's gonna announce who's calling you and ask you if you wanna answer that. And similar with the notifications, if we go right here, you're gonna have the option to choose when Siri announces in the notifications. So right now, as you can see, I have headphones turned on. So basically whenever I receive a notification when I'm listening to my AirPods, Siri is going to announce that notification, but that's completely up to you. It's your preference. I have it turned on and there's other features we can talk about, but these are basically how you can use Siri with your AirPod Pro second generations. You can announce calls and notifications using her with these AirPods. You can also see more features and settings for your AirPods Pro right in the control center of your iPhone. And to access that control center, all you have to do is just scroll down like this. And now we're at the control center. And right here, I want to talk about which is my music or audio tab and right now you can see the song i'm listening to and it's pause and also on top of that you see this little icon that shows the airpods pro right here if we click on that right here you're going to see that's going to show the song or audio i'm listening to and what they're connected to so right now i have the airpods pro connected obviously and you actually have this option to share the audio with other people around you so if we click share audio right here what's going to happen is now you can bring another pair of headphones or an iPhone or iPad they're connected to, and you can bring it close to this iPhone. And now whatever audio you're listening to through this iPhone and AirPods, you're gonna actually be able to listen to it on another device as well. So if you have an iPad near you, or if you have another pair of headphones, you can actually bring them close to this phone, and now you're gonna hear that exact same audio coming through those as well, which is a pretty cool feature if you wanna share your audio with these AirPod Pros. We also have our volume tab right here, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna increase the volume this way, you can just do that and move it accordingly. But if we hold down this volume, tab in the control center you're going to see a few other options you can choose right now we have spatial stereo head track turned on and i already showed you and explained what spatial audio is we also have noise control but if we click on this spatial audio right here basically you're gonna have three options to choose from. You can have spatial audio turned on, head tracked, or fixed. So if you have head track turned on, it's what I explained earlier. Basically what's gonna happen is whatever direction you turn your head in, up, down, left, or right, this music and audio is gonna follow you in that direction to give you that 3D experience. We also have fixed, so now it's only gonna come at you from one direction if you click that one. And then also you can turn this off, but I recommend head track to get that full 3D immersive experience with these AirPods Pro because they are incredible AirPods. We also have noise control, which is right here. And as you can see, it's off right now, but if I want to click that and turn it on, I can choose between noise cancellation or transparency mode, what I showed you previously in the settings of your AirPod Pros. So if you want to choose them this way, you can definitely do that. Right now I have off, but if you want to hear the external sounds coming around you, you can click transparency mode. And if you want all that noise from external sounds completely blocked off, you can just click noise cancellation. This is an easier way to access it. All you have to do is just go to your control center instead of going to the settings on your iPhone, which I definitely recommend doing it because it's just more efficient that way. And then lastly, we have this hearing icon right here. And if we click on that, you're going to see we have a few options to choose from. So right now it says AirPods Pro and it shows the amount of charge in that. And we have background sounds, 
and live listen. So if you want to listen to some sort of background sounds, whether while you're working, sleeping, you can click that and turn on background sounds and you can choose which ones you want to use. I prefer listening to some sort of white noise when I'm doing work. And I think this is a great way to use that with the iPhone and AirPods. You can choose tons of background sounds to choose from right now. We have bright noise, dark noise, ocean rain, stream, all these you can choose from right here. If we go back, you can turn up the volume of these white noises to determine how loud you want it. And then we also have live listen. So with live listen, if you turn that on, basically what's going to happen is you're going to be able to hear yourself speak and hear external noises coming around you directly through your AirPods Pro, opposed to listening to them externally. So live listen is one of the many options you can access through the control center of your iPhone using your AirPods. You have background sounds, live listen. You can customize your spatial audio and noise cancellation or adapter transparency. But I also want to show you one last feature you can use with your AirPods Pro with the new update iOS 16 on your iPhone, which I think is super cool. So if we exit out of the control center, I already showed you I can create a widget right here on the home screen of my iPhone that shows the percentage of my AirPods and their case. And I'm sure all of you know how to create a widget on your home screen. But now with iOS 16, you can actually add a widgets to your lock screen as well. And right here off the bat, you can see that I have a widget for my AirPods case that shows the battery percentage of that at the moment. If you click customize right here, you're gonna see you can choose from tons of widgets right here in this add widget section. I already have my AirPods case percentage, battery percentage right here. But say for example, I wanna remove this right here and add this AirPods case right here. I can just click that. And now it's gonna show how much battery I have left on my AirPods case at the moment. And after that, you can click done right here. And now that's gonna show on the lock screen of your iPhone. And as I already mentioned, if you go in, you're also gonna see the battery percentage of your AirPods themselves, the left and the right one right here. So this is a good way to show how much battery is left on your AirPods. And if you need to charge them soon, or if you're good for a few more hours. So this is how you can edit those with the iOS 16 update. Just make sure you're updated to iOS 16 to access this feature. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was a complete beginner's guide covering the AirPod Pro second generation. And if you found this video useful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you guys to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. Also go give us a follow at appfindvip, which is our Instagram account. We're going to be sharing the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all Apple content like the iPhone and the AirPods. And then lastly, while you're here, also check out bestrewardsapps.com where these are all affiliates of ours and they all allow you to win incredible rewards right through your phone and these apps. They're all incredible to check out, so I definitely recommend doing so. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.